Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure to set up an SSH server on a Raspberry Pi. I'll put a link in the description to that video, and I'll also put a link to the Raspberry Pi hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to talk about copying files from your Windows 10 computer to a Raspberry Pi using SCP. So SCP stands for Secure Copy, and that's part of the SSH suite of tools. So I'm working here on a modern version of Windows 10, and I can go down to the search, and I'll type in PowerShell, and once that opens up, I'll type SCP and hit enter. And I'll put a link below to my website where you can find the commands that I'm typing in here so you don't have to copy them directly from the video. And if you don't see SCP installed here, we can install SSH. And to do that, you want to go to your Windows icon and then go to settings. Then go to apps. And then optional features. And if I scroll down here, I have OpenSSH Client installed. And if you don't, you can click on Add a Feature, and it'll bring up a list of software, and you can find OpenSSH Client on there and click on it and install it. But I can't do that because I already have it installed here. But it would look sort of like this, and you could hit Install and install it. So once you have that installed, you can go back to PowerShell, and you can try it again, SCP, and see if you have the usage come up here. Okay, so I'll clear my screen. So I'm going to open up a second PowerShell here. So on the left will be my Raspberry Pi, and on the right will be my Windows computer. So I have this directory here on the desktop, and it has books in it, and these are books I downloaded from the Project Gutenberg. So I think I have like the Wizard of Oz and some things like that, maybe a Tale of Two Cities. And it has some that are in a folder, and the others are just in the directory books itself. So I'll be copying these files to the Raspberry Pi, for example. So I'll close that. So on the left, I want to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. So you don't need to do this, but I'm doing it so I can show you after the files are copied. So I'll type SSH space Pi at Raspberry Pi dot local. So Raspberry Pi dot local is a zero conf host name. So you can use that. You can also use the IP address of the Raspberry Pi if you know that. Either one will work. So I'll hit enter here. I'll type in password as my password because that's what I'm using on this sample system. You shouldn't use that in real life. So I'm on the Raspberry Pi now, I'll clear my screen. Now I'll go back to the other terminal, and this is on the Windows computer. So these files I have are on my desktop. So I'm in my home directory. If you're not in home directory, you can type cd space, and then tilde, and I will go to your home directory. And I'm using the Unix style commands here because that's what I'm used to, but you could also use the PowerShell commands. So I want to go to my desktop, I'll type cd space desktop. So I type CD space and I start typing desktop out and then I hit tab after like DE and it auto completed the rest of the word there. So if I type LS here, we can see we have this books directory. I'll go into that, so CD books, and there we have our files. It doesn't look very good because my terminal is kind of small here. Maybe I'll change this. Let's see if that looks better. Oops. There we go. So on the PowerShell terminal, you see it says C users Rick desktop books. You can also type PWD for print working directory, and that will show you the same thing essentially. And if you want to go back a directory, you can type CD space dot dot forward slash, and it'll take you back a directory. So now let's say we want to copy 11-H to the Raspberry Pi. We can type SCP for secure copy. We'll type the name of the file, so we have 11-h.htm, and I use my tab completion there. So you could take this slash dot, or this dot slash out, that would work also. And then I want to type pi at raspberry pi dot local. So you'll notice that's the same as the command we use to log into the Raspberry Pi. Then we want to type colon, and then tilde forward slash. So this will copy the file 11-h.htm to Raspberry Pi computer in the home directory. So if I hit enter here, it will ask us for the password, and it will copy the file over. So if I go to my Raspberry Pi here, I can type ls, and here we have the file 11-h.htm. So say we need to copy all of these files with the extension htm. So you can use wildcards here. We can type scp space and then star.htm, and then pi at raspberry pi 
dot local colon tilde forward slash and I'll hit enter. And we'll see the same thing here, ask for a password. I'll hit enter. And we've copied all these files over. So on here we see we have the files on the Raspberry Pi now. So we also have this directory called new books. So if we wanted to do a recursive copy, we can type scp space dash r space, and then I want to choose everything with the star space pi at raspberry pi dot local, and then again colon tilde forward slash, I'll hit enter, type in my password. And now if we go over to the Raspberry Pi, we see it copied over all these HTML files, and we have this new books here. If I type ls new books, we'll see the files are in there too. So it copied recursively. So if there were directories inside of new books, it would have copied those also. So the home directory of the Raspberry Pi is looking kind of messy now. So say we wanted to copy into a directory on the Raspberry Pi. What we could do on the Raspberry Pi is we could create a directory with mkdir, and then we'll just call this book copy. I'll hit enter. I'll change directory into book copy. And as I'm talking through this, I'm talking as an alternative to what we did before. Obviously we copied the files over and we could just move them, but if you want to do this from scratch, you could type book copy. Then back on the Windows machine, we'll type scp space dash r space star. So we're going to copy everything. Then we'll say space pi at raspberry pi dot local colon tilde forward slash book copy forward slash. I'll hit enter. It'll ask for my password. And now it's copying everything over. So now within book copy, I'll type ls and we have the files in there. So if we look at this command again, let me get a little more room here. Actually, I'll clear the screen so it's all we see. So this tilde here says place this in the home directory. So a book copy is in the home directory. You could put any path in here. Um, so you could say forward slash boot forward slash but it's not going to work copying into there because we don't have permission. But if you did have a directory that has permission, it would copy. So you could copy anywhere on the system so long as you're allowed to do it uh, per your user access. So this is how you can copy some files from your Windows computer to Raspberry Pi. And this is meant like, say you're setting up a web server and you want to copy some files over. If you have an office full of people and you want to share files, you're going to want to set something up like Samba. But this is good for just copying one or two files or a directory of files, and you're going to do it one time for a configuration or something. So I made a previous video on the Mac, and it has Unix underpinning, so these commands work on the Mac just the same way they do in PowerShell and they do on Linux. So it's really nice that PowerShell supports commands like SCP natively. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.